Hey, welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, Get Free OS. Get Free is a uh, Arch based uh, Linux system and it comes with the XFCE desktop environment. So we have the ISO uh, loaded up and we are here at the install screen. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go through the settings and get the system installed so we can take a look at Get Free OS. And we have our uh, American English already selected, so I'll click next. Our location has uh, Los Angeles selected. I'll go ahead and click next. Keyboard set to English US. I'll click next. And I'm going to set it up to erase the disk. I'm not going to worry about swap or anything else. I'm just going to leave the defaults. Click next. Now I'm going to create a user. And give it a strong and complicated password. Alright, everything set up. My overview here looks all corrected, so I'm just going to click on install. And we're installing now, so uh, this process usually takes between 5 and 10 minutes, so uh, I'll go ahead and I'll pause the video now. And when we come back, we should be uh, prompted by our reboot screen or on the new system itself. Okay, the installer has completed and uh, we are uh, presented by the Restart Now screen and it's automatically checked here. So I'm just going to click on Done and we should reboot into the new system. Okay, we have uh, rebooted into the system and as you can see, uh, we need to fix our uh, screen resolution. So let's go ahead and do that now. Click on the Applications menu, go to my settings, click on Display, and find 1920 by 1080, click Apply, keep this configuration, and now we're fixed. So now we got a 1920 by 1080 uh, screen resolution. All right, so like I said, Get Free OS is a Arch-based system with the XFCE desktop environment. So let's take a look at our panel first. As we can see in our uh, lower right hand corner, we have our system tree. And uh, right here where it says Linux Hub, if we click on it, it should give us our power session. And it does, so we have a restart, logout, suspend, and shutdown. And next to that, we have a clock and date. And clicking on it should show a calendar, and it does. And then next to that, we have our volume settings. So clicking on it opens up a volume rocker for audio and a volume rocker for the microphone. And there's also a button for the audio mixer. And next to that, we have our internet connections. So if you had a Wi-Fi cord installed on your PC, it should show up here and give you your connections. And this one here that's uh, in red is your uh, update manager. So I'm not going to click on that because I'm not going to update the system right now. And then we have our clipboard manager. And that's pretty much your system tray. All right, down in our left hand corner here on our panel, where we see Get Free OS, if we click on that, that is our application menu launcher. So if you open it up, you see we have our favorites, recently used, all applications, accessories, development, education, games, graphics, internet, multimedia, office, science, and settings. If you scroll down, you have system. All right. So one of the one of the things I want to get into real quick is I always do this last, but I think I'll do this uh, first this time. So I'll get into the appearance. So as you can see right here, we have our uh, theming. Let me just open up File Manager, and the theming is pretty simple on here. So you know you got your add white, uh, add white or dark, arc, arc dark, and your high contrast. 
And then if you want to change the icons, you can do it right here. Select the icon you want to install and just simple one click and you're good to go. You can see the icons changing right here on the folder. All right, and that's pretty much your uh, theming system here. And, uh, well, actually, let me get back to the theming. Put it on a darker theme. I think Arc Dark could do. That would be fine. And now, if we want to switch up, uh, let's say, uh, backgrounds, go to Desktop Settings by right clicking on the screen. And you can see it just pops up. It's a simple. Uh, one click and select your wallpaper. Simple and straightforward. I'll just leave it on there. That one looks pretty nice. And that's your uh, theming and wallpapers. Okay, so now looking at our applications, let's look under accessories and we have a uh, Pretty much all your basic tools in here, application finders, archive managers, rename tools, disks, and we have our Thunar file manager, which is the XFCE file manager. And it is Thunar. And on the about page, we are running 4.18.8. Thunar is a fast and easy to use file manager for the XFCE desktop environment. And that is our file manager. And below that we have development, which has a, our uh, IDE, which is used mainly to uh, write code and scripts. And let's see what version we're running. It looks like it's 2.0. Yeah, Genie 2.0, a fast and lightweight IDE. So if you want to write some code, you would use Genie. I mean, technically you could do it with any uh, text editor, but Genie you know, gives you all the syntax and all that. Then we have ed education underneath development, which is just has a simple Libre math. You know what? I've never seen LibreOffice math. Or maybe I have. I just never paid attention to it. And we get a tip of the day. You are running version 7.6 of LibreOffice for the first time. Do you want to learn what's new? No, I don't. So I'm not sure what really goes here, but uh, let's take a look at the uh, about. And it's 7.6.3.2. So LibreOffice. LibreOffice is a modern, easy to use, open source productivity suite for word processing, spreadsheets, presentations, and more. All right. And that's your LibreOffice suite. Then we have uh, sections like games, which has some uh, generic games on here. And then below games, we have our graphics. We have your image viewers and your uh, photo editing suite. So let's take a look at GIMP, the preferred photo editing suite on Linux. And on the about, it shows that we're running 2.10.36. A new image manipulation program. And that is GIMP. And below graphics, we have our internet. And here on the internet, we have uh, three browsers that are present here Firefox, LibreWolf are pretty much the same thing, and then we have Brave. So let's take a look at Brave. And it's asking for a key ring. We'll give it a key ring. All right. And here we are at the Get, on a Get Free OS website. So right here, we're actually on the download, but there's an About Us. So if you want to read up some info about Get Free OS. And then we have our homepage, which tells us the type of installer it uses, the desktops, 
pretty much everything you need to know. It's set up like a blog style, so you know, you got your different pages. But uh, let's look at the about for uh, for Brave. And here on the about, showing Brave version 1.60.125 of Chromium. Yeah, so Brave is a Chromium based browser. Close them all. All right, that's in our internet. And on our multimedia, we have a couple media players, audio players, volume functions, and also a CD, DVD burden application. But I see we got VLC, which is standard on multi platforms. This is your media player. And like I said, it's cross platform. You can find this on Mac, Windows, and Linux. And on the on the about, we have is 3.0.20. Veterinary. I don't know what it is about Linux, but Linux has some weird naming. They use some pretty odd names. I guess it's people all over the world that are naming these things, so eh, they they find them, they make them, so they get to name them, right? And we already saw the LibreOffice, but this this pretty much spreads it out into uh, sections. So you have your math, impress, draw, calc, and the base system. And we have science and settings. Settings, pretty much, you can take care of all your system. You know, you can add, remove software, your network configuration, your appearance, you know, Bluetooth, screen display settings, color profiles, pretty much anything to, to help the system settings on your system. And then under system is where you have your more elevated controls and, uh, you know, your terminals and things like that, task managers. Uh, while we're here, let's take a look at our task manager here. You can see our CPU is barely at 1%, 2%. The and then it's showing the number of processes we're running, which right here shows us 266. And our memory right here, which is only 24%. Not bad. Pretty good. All right. Uh, let's take a look at uh, terminals and... Let's see, we got Xterm, XFCE. Let's just take a look at Xterm and open it up. Automatically opens up NeoFetch. And here we can see that we have uh, the OS is Get Free OS. And the kernel 6.3.3. And in their packages, we can see that we're running Pac Man. Which lets us know that it's a large space system. And the desktop environment, XFCE. And I believe we have HTOP also in here. So let's just double check and confirm. And we do. I mean, we already saw the uh, system resources, but this is just another way of looking at it also. Alright, and this is HTOP. And you can see our memory right here is not too bad. So you're using uh, 716 megabytes. So, not bad at all. Alright. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Just a quick and uh, dirty look at uh, Get Free OS. Like I said, it's an Arch based system. And uh, this is something that looks like you want to take a look at, I'll have the links down in the video description for the home page and the download link. All right, that's going to do it for me on this video, and I'm out.